I got these over the door hooks from Dollar Tree. I'll be using two of them for this project. And where the piece that hooks over the door, it's curved right now, but I needed to straighten this out. I just used my hands. It was really easy to maneuver. And get it as straight as possible. After you do that, you're just gonna go over it with a hammer just to straighten it even more. And then just do the same thing to the other side of the hooks. I then grabbed two of these plungers, also from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna unscrew the plastic part, so I'm only going to be using the wooden handle. So I'm using this adhesive glue. It's a great substitute for E6000. I'm just placing that on the back of one of the hooks, and I'm placing it on the top of the wooden stick. And then to hold that in place, I am just using a zip tie. And I did end up using a total of four zip ties on one side of that over the door hook. So you just wanna do the same steps on the other side of that hook. Just place down that adhesive glue or E6000 and then just zip tie it. And I added an extra zip tie on the bottom of the hook just for some extra support. So now on the bottom of the wooden stick, I'm just putting that second hook right down, just doing that same method with the adhesive glue, and then zip tie it. So guys, you just wanna make sure that these are even. You wanna make sure that the placements are as even as possible. I just eyeballed it. I did not use a ruler. So if you need to use a ruler, by all means, you could do that as well. And this is what you should have so far. It doesn't look like anything special now, but now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some black chalkboard paint. This is all I had on hand. I did not wanna go back out to Home Depot or Walmart to get some more spray paints, but if you have just regular black spray paint, you could use that as well. So I did end up using two coats. You just want to make sure that you dry the first coat before going on to the second coat. So I just use my heat gun to speed up that drying process. And once all your coats are completely dry, now you have this very inexpensive coffee mug holder. So you could display this however you want. I put some pictures on it along with some of my coffee mugs. To be able to hang this, I would pick up some D hooks. You could find these at Lowe's or Home Depot and just screw those on the back of the wooden sticks. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope this inspired you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you, bye.